It's 1 a.m. and I can't sleep because I've been obsessing over this comment right here. And I've been obsessing over this comment because I've been so busy fixing y'all's beats, I haven't even had time to fix my own. I started producing at the end of 2019, early 2020 kind of time frame. And I sold my first beat at the end of that same year. I actually sold it two days before Christmas, so it was kind of like an early Christmas gift. Since then, I've switched computers a lot. But the oldest beat I've still got is from May 2020. And I titled it We Starting because I think that was the first beat I made after I just started taking producing a little bit more seriously. Kind of like We Starting to Be Serious. Let's open this up. Let's give it an open. Now let's give it a listen. Yo, I was cooking in that verse. Damn. Okay, 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 okay. The drums are terrible though. Like also, this is this bugged me. I did not I did not put soft clipper on the master. That's it was just clipping. The the drum sounds are horrid. Like these are the worst drum sounds I've ever used for a beat. Kind of just together. Like they don't work. 808's gotta change. For sure, for sure. What 808 do we even go with? That's the question. I think we just go with the spins, honestly. The hi-hat's got to change, though, too. The hi-hat is, is disgusting. Like, that is not a good sound. Yeah, I struggled with sound selection a lot early on. Yo, why was I normalizing my, my 808s? Doing some weird stuff. Please, let me just find out. Oh, I mean, it's not bad, but I don't need to do this. I also, oh, no. This was back when I was side-chaining but I didn't know how to side chain. Like I didn't understand what I was doing. It was, that's not good. We, we don't want to do that. I hate how unorganized I was. So what is the, the 808 doing? What is the melody doing? Cause I'm, I'm honestly kind of fine with the melody. I think it's, it's solid. This is, this is back when I definitely didn't start out with bass notes. I have no idea what key this is. I'm not really too concerned about that, though. Um, I just want to see what I'm doing. I'm going D, B, C sharp. I mean, you do you. Having the, the B up here doesn't really make sense. Also, having the velocity so low was kind of questionable. And it's also just not good to have the, the 808 just hitting on that first beat of each bar. It's just not really adding a bounce. This would sound way better if I did it like this. Maybe even pitch that up. I don't think I could do a slide here. That'd be terrible. We'll leave this just pretty, pretty standard. Yo, this kick's gotta go. What else did I do here? Did I do anything else to this? I did do, I did do a melody bus. I guess I wasn't really doing anything. Some of this EQ is fine. It's not really a problem. The melody kind of being loud like this, I would also like stereo separate it a bit. So just to make more room for the drums. Also, I like how it sounds. I'm just gonna cut out some low end to make a little bit more room for that 808. Clap is all right. Clap is okay. We're gonna change all the drum sounds though, cause like this, this is an okay melody. The the drum sounds are just doo doo, and the mix is just not good. Like the mix is not not nice. You know, the hi hat just kind of makes me hurt. Why was I normalizing everything? Like I get it from a, a conceptual standpoint, but it didn't make sense at the time either. I was getting a little too OD with my rolls and everything. Yeah, 
we're gonna delete this. We're just gonna we're just gonna two-step it and then fix that. Because that was terrible. Because I want to roll like right here. Maybe not that long. Let's just experiment with it, see what we get. And then I'll have something down here as well. Um and then let's like do like a little like weird, I don't know, like a little ch -ch -ch kind of roll. Does that even make sense? It does. It does, I promise. Uh, where do we take this? We take this down for sure, but where to? I think we're, we're cooking. We're cooking with the hi-hats. We got something going. I need a piece of gum desperately, bro. Where's my gum at? Where's the gum? I'm going to be right back. I'm going to grab a piece of gum. One day later. Woo! Let's go. We cook it now. We cook it. Also, just having like something really low here, but as an accent would be kind of fire. Honestly, I didn't do the hi-hat volume too bad. I would turn it down a bit though. Now here's where I'm, I'm really hesitant. The kick sound is terrible. I also don't really love using kicks. And why, oh, I was doing this too. I was doing that thing where you put the kicks like on the same note as the 808. It wasn't like any secret sauce or anything. I just saw it in a video at one time and it didn't help me. So I'm gonna go to my Havoc drum kit, which you can get only on presetsupply.com. Cause I know there's some good kicks in here. Yo, I had a terrible rhythm. I still do. Okay, I'm, I'm hesitant to get into all of this nonsense because this is terrible. What is this? I really hate layering claps, especially in trap music. Okay, we got a rim. This rim does not work. Yeah, what the hell was I doing? How did I even do that? I don't know, but I think what I wanted more was an accent snare. I just didn't really realize it. that might work. Oh, yo, where's the bounce, bro? Don't do it like that. Don't do it like that. It feels a bit better. Now, once we turn this down, oh, yo, I'm doing the ugly EQ on everything, aren't I? There was no reason for me to be doing some of these EQs. What am I doing? Y'all notice I ducked the, the highs on my hi-hat. I'm pulling the things that I, I get mad at y'all for doing, I was doing too. I had no business doing that either. I even I complete, completely forgot I used to do this. I would just EQ random things. What's this? It doesn't even sound good. We're taking this out of the beat. That's just gone. Same with this clap. This is all the drums I had. I feel like an open hat would really take this like a step further. Ooh, ooh. Yo, that, that open hat from the Havoc drum kit is actually perfect here. I just gotta make it quieter because it's still pretty loud. Now let me find out what fugazi nonsense I was doing to this open hat. I already knew it was something. I already knew it was gonna be something. Now it's too quiet because I got rid of the uh, the EQ. Arrangement wise, it's not that bad. It's just a pretty pretty long intro, and it's not exciting. Also, because this is so long, I think I need to bring something in. Like, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. Just something. I think I can cut these a little sooner, and that would be nice. And then we slap a riser in there, and that's going to be night and day. We also need, like, a riser going into this. Just kind of cleaning up the transitions, really. Yeah, we need that Riley riser. I feel like layering that with another riser would go hard. Like something really short. If 
I really wanted to do something here, this is what I would do. Also, I'm just gonna Alt L everything. Kind of a W change. I need to throw my tag in there though. Why the shit you dumbass up?